Hey there guys, Floodmon14, and before we get started here, I'm just going to go ahead and plug my charger in here real quick. Uh, how you guys doing? Doing pretty good, I just figured today we'd do a little bit of uh, Duels of the Roses, the ranking challenge, so let me, let's see, get my cord here, there we go, and I'll just kind of Flip to the side. Alright, there we go. And yeah, I think I'll record like, eh, I don't know, maybe like two episodes today or so. Um, probably not going to commentate too much because I don't, don't really have much to say. Uh, what's going on here lately? Well, uh, one thing, the volume's down. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see, we're in the ranking challenge, so I need to be at major, at least, right? So let's change decks here. Alright. And, huh, that was weird. It looked like we had a little bit of, uh, like, the effect from the sun, maybe? This is the right file, too, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll just get ready to say it's gotta be the right file, bro, because this, this safe file has a... Uh, uh, how many, how many da, 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 duels do we have on the save file? 75? That's actually not that many. It feels like a lot more. Uh, why does it feel like? Probably because I timed out a lot more. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Like when you're just timing out the duels. It does seem like there's a lot more uh, than there actually is. Uh, how is volume? I think usually on here I put it like at 20, about 29. I think. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it at 26. Well, actually, you know what? Let me turn it down to 23. Uh, we actually do have a couple people here still sleeping, so let's try to respect them a little bit. But with all due respect, it is. Nine. Uh, uh, actually, actually, it just turned uh, to ten, about ten o'clock here. So, uh, go with the force down, and uh, yeah. But uh, hope you guys are doing good. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy some duels of the roses. Man, it has gotten. Oof, October's here. Fall is here. I, I don't know about how it is. You know uh, where you guys live. Uh, wherever you're from. Um, but yeah, let, let me know. I mean, but, whew, boy, here. Uh, yeah, like, we had some lows at, uh, like, I think at one point, one of the lows was at, like, 25? Maybe even lower. I don't know. Oh, we have Cybersource here. That's good. Uh, yeah, we'll just put Cybersource over here to this side. I didn't even realize that. That's good. <laughs> Metal Greymon, so to speak. Uh, but yeah, yeah, fall has definitely come here, uh, where I live, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, not too much going on. Oh, man. Like, for a few days, uh, I'm, I'm sure some of you guys were expecting, like, more videos than I had put out, but, uh, believe me, I wanted to, but, you know how, like, the weather can, like, snap, you know what I mean? Like, because you're used to, you know, summer. You're used to it being, like, muggy around here. You're used to it being, like, you know, borderline just kind of annoying, you know, with how muggy it usually is around here. And to go from that to, like, you know, waking up to 15s, teens, 20s, you know, with the high maybe at max, maybe 40? Yeah, man, like, phew. You know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. That can really, uh, cold snap can kind of surprise you. Uh, I guess we'll go with Spike Clover on this side. And I guess we can attack him. No reason not to. I have battles on, right? Yeah, good. So I actually could use a drink of water. Speaking of being like, yeah. But, uh, yeah. But the good news is, hey, no fan noise. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about, like, oh, man, is my fan too loud? Because it's so hot in here, you know? 
<laughs> the one thing I will say is that uh, I forgot how good this room, this room that I'm recording in, I forgot how good it can hold heat, but uh, hmm. it, it took us a few days, you know, preparation and stuff and like, you know, getting the heaters out of the... You know, storage shed. You guys know how it is. You guys know how it is. But, man. Yeah, once... Uh, and we're still not done. Um, the major thing is, like, the wall to the... You know, over there to the left. Uh, the windows and stuff. Uh, pretty sure we're going to put insulation. Or... <laughs> we're we're going to put insulation. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, fun fact, guys. We actually usually don't spend that much money on... And I, I don't know. Pretty random topic. But, yeah. You know, just go with it. Uh, yeah, fun fact, we actually don't spend too much on, like, insulation, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you see, what we usually do is, hey man, we, we have a big ghetto up in here, you know what I mean? <laughs> we usually just use, like, newspaper and foam and, like, you know, old Walmart sacks. And <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding, guys, I'm not even kidding, like, usually we just kind of... We just kind of stuff like in between the window and you know the screen, the screen protector and the window. You just kind of stuff like a lot of a lot of that, you know, around the. Uh, basically, you just seal the room off. You just seal the room off, and hey, I mean, does it work? Eh, you know, probably not as good as you know real insulation, but uh, it's better than nothing, right? It's gotta be. <laughs> in fact, in fact, like I, I could feel a difference because I remember last winter, uh, there was a pretty big draft in here, like a really big draft. You know, to the right, to the right, to the door, to the right, and uh, we basically sealed the door with like newspaper and like all that stuff I was just talking about. And yeah, you could actually feel a noticeable difference. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think it does work. Just some, the, like it was, it was weird though. Some days the draft would be so strong, you could actually still feel it through the uh, uh, the keyhole in the door. That's just like what? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't think it'd be that strong, but trust me, it is. I lived through it, so I know it. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna spread more force. You know, for a minute there, I kind of forgot what kind of deck we were running here. I was just like, I mean, because I got Aqua Dragon. Okay, obviously, this is kind of the workaround. You know, we're doing the ranking challenge, so I got Aqua Dragon as the leader, just so we can still dual Rex with, you know, some of the other kind of decks. But, uh, uh, obviously, this is not the main. It's been a little while since I played Duels of the Roses, so. Sorry about that. I, I probably should have noticed the, uh, I kind of flipped through the leaders a little too quick. I probably should have noticed the, uh, like, can this take Invigoration? I forget. Invigoration? Horn of Light. Huh, interesting. And yeah, the insect cards. Cool. Uh, let's see. Well, can I get this guy here? I think that's the big question. Huh, I mean, I mean, because I think Cybersource will do the job yeah, for a while. Eventually, he will summon, like, Practical. Yeah. Uh, let's... You know what? Let me give myself a head start. There we go. A little bit to the left. And we'll go with all three. Power increase. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys have not been too hit too hard by the winter weather just yet. Uh, let me know. Let me know what's going on. Uh, also, I did want to say a big uh, thank you to you guys uh, lately. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe you guys like the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D stuff, the Decade Duels Plus, uh, which I've been posting quite a lot of lately. Found a lot of backlog of that, and I was just like, eh, whatever. You know, we'll just post it up there. I mean, there's no commentary in there, but. Not everybody, not everybody likes commentary. Uh, you know, some people just like to watch just 
classic boy. And that's, that's fine. But if you're watching up to this point in the video, would you probably like a little bit of commentary? I think that's, that's safe to say. Yeah, run that card over, run that card over. It's, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, yeah, but uh, last week I posted uh, yeah, quite a few of those, and then also the week before that, into Wednesday, I think. Oh, two magic cards, man. He might be able to lay down a Brachio Radius. Yeah, as nice as it is to have a chance for these cards in the graveyard, when he plays magic cards like that, you got, you just gotta know. You know he's at least he's up to at least nine stars now because he skipped his. Uh, I'm gonna actually put infinite dismissal here just in case because he skipped his uh, monster summoning twice. So that's actually a little scary. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, the UBO five Ds and the, oh, is he just gonna skip his turn? I mean, that's cool with me, Rex, because. This is the ranking challenge, and the goal is to rank up, so... Well, let's see if he passes again, uh, just in case. Let's summon fire... Well, actually, we can play Rosie here, right? Plant plus feet? I haven't forgot my fusions. Ah, yeah. Huh. One plus one equals two. Huh. Like I'd ever forget my elemental hero fusions. Yeah, that's, uh... Oh no, he was just building up his summoning level even more? Yeah, 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 I, I saw that coming, that's, uh, yep, good move, amigo, good move. I knew he had to have enough stars for it, for a minute I thought we had the AI, because you know how the AI can kind of lock themselves, to, you know, to where we can just skip turns, you, you, you guys have seen the other episodes, yeah. I hope the AI did that, but I guess I should have finished this guy off. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, I appreciate you guys yeah, watching the 5D's content and commentating and uh, you know, sharing it with your friends, etc. And uh, yeah, we've actually got like a couple new subscribers. Actually, let me, let me look at my comments here real quick. I actually need to keep an eye on the time on this video as well. Uh, oh, and it's been a while since I recorded. Are we still recording? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Pretty good idea to keep an eye on that, Josh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes, we are still... Oh, I have three fours in this deck? Man, that is just too good. Um, yeah, well, don't need infinite dismissal anymore, so let's just activate another one. Uh, let me look up a couple subscribers that have recently subscribed. Uh, yeah, just last night, Fred, Fred Burger. <laughs> yeah, thanks for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Uh, who else? I think one was like Goku Uchiha. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Goku Uchiha, yeah. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. And, uh, yeah, another one, uh, Kimmy Boone. Yeah, so. I don't know. Uh, oh, well, I guess I don't have to worry about finishing Rex off. I can just finish him off right here. But, yeah, appreciate you guys' as, you know. Checking in. Yeah. And I hope you, uh, stay tuned for more because, uh,. Definitely have more. Ah, Cyberstars has been promoted. Yu Gi Oh content at some point. <laughs> I mean, the longtime subscribers, they kind of know how it is on this channel. Sometimes, I don't know. I, I really have no explanation. Uh, can I get three in a row for the Tomazaurus? Let's see. That's what to you. Hmm. I really have to pay attention. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Okay, we have a chance, and there's two in the slots. Wow, okay. Wow, can we start off this episode with a good bone three in a row? Well, if not, I'm gonna try it. I'm actually gonna aim for Breath of Light and hope I hit it early. Two. That's 1,002. Boom, yeah. That's 1,002. Oh! 
perfect! Hey, that's a good way to start the episode. So we get Tomasaurus, and special card is... Drum roll. Brrr, a Gorgon's Eye! Hey, hey, that's a good way to start the Come Back to Duels of the Roses video, Josh. Yeah. How about that? How about that? That's cool. That's awesome. And, and yeah, it's kind of weird. That card only has a deck cost of like... Uh, well, anyway, let's check out Gorgonzola Cheese for you guys. Yeah, check the cell. Huh, and I only have one other Tomozaurus. That's kind of surprising. Oh, uh, yeah, Gorgonzola, check this out. Full range trap. That means it can activate, activate from anywhere on the field. Permanent trap that triggers when an enemy card completes the move in the defense position automatically cancels the enemy card and eternally yummy spell binds it. Yeah, this card's pretty good. And um, I think a couple duels have this card. Well, no, I think Ishizu has Shadow of Eyes. Uh, I think Panic. Oh, I'm sorry, Darkness Ruler in this game, right? Yeah, Darkness Ruler. I think Darkness Ruler has this card. So, and it's pretty annoying. You know, because the first time, obviously, you don't expect it. And, uh, yeah. It can, uh, it can ruin your move for that, for the turn. And then from the rest, until you get rid of this card from Panic, you know, no defense mode. That's not good. That's bad. That's very bad. You know, usually. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of a fake trap here. I'll throw in Tumblesaurus, because it can fuse with, uh... Yeah, Cybersaurus did this pretty well there, and even got a rank up, so I'm kind of surprised. Uh, but with that being said, let's switch to the main deck. Yeah, main of the Aqua. Yeah, yeah. And it is at Lieutenant Colonel. Good, good. Good to know I'm playing on the right save file. <laughs> I'm getting ready to say, if not... Hey, if not, bonus episode, you know, because we did get a three in a row start, and that's, uh, it's good. It's very good, actually. Okay. Oh, right, and, um, by the way, guys, I'm pretty sure I checked off screen, and these guys, uh, Necromancer, and, um, for sure, Darkness Ruler, he's at Colonel, Colonel ranking, so we actually just need to get one more rank up with, uh, this deck, Maiden of Yakua, and then we can take him on. Because, remember, the ranking challenge? Uh, yeah, we're not allowed to take on someone unless they are the same or lower uh, deck leader as this. So, it, it's kind of like the how the this game has the deck cost rule, except uh, we're doing it for the ranking. So, that's the whole idea behind the ranking challenge. Pretty simple sounding, but uh, once you put it... Ooh, you could start here. Uh, once you put it into effect, it's just like, man, man. Uh, let's start with good old Stone D. <laughs> hey guys, it's Stone D. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna regret that when I look at that in that thing. I'm just gonna be like, dude, what the flippity flam were you smoking? Smoking! Sorry, Ace Ventura referencing. <laughs> that was a pretty random one, too. Um, let's set Infinite Dismissal, because usually he'll send, you know, Rex, he'll send one down here, one down here. Let's just... Now, he did increase this one. Oh, only Invigoration. Uh, but let me think about the math here. So, two-headed King Rex. This is normally what he starts with. Plus 300 would be... 24 and I have 25 and let's move forward I, I you know I would feel really bad if Stone D tied with whatever this is but uh, we'll see we'll see maybe I made the wrong move there I mean because I can always go into twin headed uh, Thunder Dragon and we'll see what he's got here nice Trachodon sweet and now you can see Stone D Stone D is one of the more shall we say epic Where's my water? There it is. Here's the water time. Sorry for the squeaky chair. But this chair is pretty comfortable. Stand tsunami! 
<laughs> Man, that is just cool, bro. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Man, I, I miss playing this game and really doing all the LPs. I mean, it's, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Uh, as far as when I'll upload this episode, I'm actually recording this on uh, Thursday, uh, October 20th. But I'll probably uh, just kind of announce itself. There's actually still a few more. Uh, uh, excuse me, 5D stuff, so I'll probably... Could uh, kind of edit like one today, post it later today for like 4:30 or so, and then uh, yeah, cue this up for like tomorrow for Friday, so or Saturday or Sunday. Really, the weekends, uh, yeah, weekends seem weekend videos uh, for whatever reason seem to do better. Which I mean. Duh, that, that, that should have been obvious to me, like, when I very first started, you know, LP. But it's not, okay, are we still recording, by the way? Yes, yes, we are, good, good, good. But yeah, yeah, for some, for whatever reason, uh, weekend videos seem to do a lot better than, you know, normal videos. I don't, I don't know. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. So yeah, maybe post this on the weekend there, Josh. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna end the turn. We've, we're chasing them down pretty good in this. Are you gonna move up? That's kind of weird. Okay, I understand the red medicine. I really do. Uh, but to move forward is somewhat questionable. Huh. Must just be like, yeah, but why wouldn't you move to the, why wouldn't you just keep going this way, you know? And then put a card, put that red medicine between us, don't activate it, you know, that's, I don't know. Yeah, the AI in this game is definitely, shall we say, ex what level is this, oh yeah, man, Furious Sea King's all the way up to Captain, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. I didn't realize we had been using them that long. But, uh, I guess when you get, like, you know, things up to, and it's crazy, Maid of the Aqua has no leader abilities, even though we've ranked her up, because, see, we started, so we've ranked her up a total of, like, four times? Still, that's, wow, this game is tough, you know, because all, it's so funny, all the AI, you know, basically have completed decks, you know, like, they have leader abilities. You know, good leader abilities. Oh, that's the end of Stone D. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I saw the power increase. Yeah, he could have beat Practical by himself, but uh, Rex obviously used Raised Body Heat there. But, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. Tail Swipe. Oh, our poor Stone D. A boy. Stone D looks cool in this game. It's, it's cool. Uh, by the way, what time are we at here? Okay. I should be able to finish this stool up. I keep an eye on my phone here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we can attack him directly. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can finish this up for sure. Let's, uh... Yeah, yeah, but uh, anyway, nice little bonus episode for you guys. Just kind of wanted to check in, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is going to do it for this episode. I'll probably just kind of, uh, what you call it, you know, kind of transfer this one to my computer and stuff. And we'll probably go for another one. But, but the second one, I mean, this one, again... Pretty much more of an update video, you know, just kind of checking in. And, uh, but we'll go for two. We'll go for two. <laughs> uh, the second one, I'll probably... It'll be a lot more chill, for sure, though. Okay, so I'm actually going to wait till Fake Trap's at the bottom and then press it. And then we'll go for three in a row, so... Bottom boom. Okay. Looks like we're going to go for Red Medicine. That's good, because that's easy to see in the slots. 
Oh, barely missed it. Okay, well, we might as well just go for Invigoration? Yeah, let's go for Invigoration. Okay. Three different cards. That's good. Alrighty. There we go, guys. And uh, that'll do it for today's episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. All right. <laughs> Till then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.